Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel. See, I'm trying to keep to this, uh, the this thing, whatever this is, this whole schedule thing. I'm trying. I just, I'm realizing it actually is kind of hard to, you know, come up with ideas for videos. So leave ideas in the comments down below, and I'll try to make those videos a reality. Anyway, today's video is one that people have been asking me for for a little bit to re-record. Um, it's basically taking the cars from Nitto 1320 Legends, extracting them from their original files, and putting them back together so people can use them in other projects or uh, other um, other programs or for like Photoshop art and stuff like that. Uh, because mostly, obviously, uh, Nitto 1320 Legends was made on uh, Adobe Flash, so not a lot of people know how to mess with Adobe Flash basically. So what you're going to need is a tool called JPEX's Flash Decompiler, which you can get at github.com slash... Not going to try to say that, but you can get it from there. Um, their original website no longer works, uh, so you want to come here for it, and then just go to latest releases down here in the download application, and you'll want to download it. You can download the installer, you can download it as a uh, runnable um, executable that's just like a portable. There's packages for Linux, there's Mac OS X, two different Mac OS Xs, there's language packs for translating, Java version that's just a dot jar, and the changelog. Now, not much has changed since, oh, uh, look, it was my birthday. Not much has changed since then because really there hasn't been much change in the Adobe Flash um, community. But that's the program you're going to want. And then you're going to want to run through the installer and just let it install to the default location and go from there. From there, you're also going to want Adobe uh, Photoshop or Fireworks or Illustrator. Um, you're going to want one of those. I haven't messed with Illustrator much. I'm planning on it to see if I can make the cars bigger without them getting blurry like they do in Photoshop. Um, but today we're going to use JPEXs and fireworks to rebuild a car from 1320 Legends. So obviously something else you need is, uh, <laughs> it's going to be Legends, but I'm going to run fireworks real quick because we need to go backwards to the V2 installation directory and get, you know, the V2 stuff. So we go to install, and you're going to want to go to cache, and then all the cars are in the car folder. And so are logos, so are wheels, so are tires. It's kind of a pain in the butt on actually doing this, but it's worth it, at least in my opinion, in the end. So uh, packages is where the cars are, and we're going to pick a car I haven't done yet. We'll just pick a random number. We'll do 114. And as you can see, since I already have JPEGs installed, I can simply just... Open it in FFDEC, which is JPEX's. Do, 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 do. This is a premium. Ah, oh, this is a cool premium. Ah, oh, yes. Sweet. Um, and one thing you're going to want uh, to open up is going to be body, hood front effects, lights, shadow, and undercarriage, and the mask, uh, the wheel masks. So you're going to want to open don't need that one. You're going to want to open all of them in here, and I'll explain why as we go through after we extract them. So you're going to want to extract these one by one, which is very important, and I'll explain that in a minute. So, uh. <laughs> so you're going to want to go to export selection and hit OK. I forget exactly what this car was called. Um... We'll just call it the MR2 Dragster. So I have a folder for this called uh, Everything Nitto, and I usually put the stuff in my Car Customizers folder. So this is the MR2 Dragster. It's just what we're going to call it. Oh, that's not what I wanted. See? So we're going to go Export Selection, and we're just going to do it through here real quick. So this is going to be Front. And then you're going to want to actually extract them into here and you're going to want to make a um, folder each time for each specific body part so this is body 
and you're going to want to extract the images here and then you can close you can close this and then you do lights and you go back one you do lights close it you want to do the shadow so it looks right you don't realistically have to do the shadow but it's definitely recommended shadow the wheel masks or the undercarriage so under and then actually you don't need to do the wheel masks that's correct but you do want to do the hood effects so as you can see these are where the hood pins are you don't need to do them i guess but if you want it to be truly authentic you do because realistically you can get those from uh, other places so we close all those and we're done with jpexs for now so we need to go to where i extracted those files everything nitto car confinators cars mr2 dragster we can delete this folder and we go to front and as you can see we have the body light shadow and undercarriage in Adobe Flat or uh, Adobe Fireworks or Photoshop, create a new document, make it a transparent background so it's easy. Um, and you're gonna want to. I wonder if, eh, for the sake of the video, we're just gonna do uh, 700 by 700 because you want to do it as square and then make it fit the canvas later if you want to do that. But then what you want to do is import, go to that folder wherever you extracted the stuff and you're gonna want to oh god can I just drag and drop please please we're gonna find out real quick oh thank god I can okay so you're gonna want to just like drag and drop stuff in and you're going to want to make sure certain things are under or over. So pay attention to your la uh, layers and name them accordingly. So like this is body paintable. And then you're going to want this actually underneath body because this is windows. Windows lights. And you're going to want to like kind of zoom in so you can get stuff right. Use your arrow keys. That really helps on lining stuff up. And that looks good that actually looks really good even from CIE directly these things were not well lined up um, and I like to lock things as I place them so I don't accidentally click them later on while I'm importing newer stuff so we're gonna go back to lights and there are two options for lights which is cool I really like that personally because wait where's the other set there were two sets. Where's the other set? Oh, they're on top of each other. So this is why I like making it a little bit of a bigger canvas. Because you can actually start placing everything. Um, if you want to extract all the body panels, you can extract all the body panels. If there's multiple sets of lights and stuff like there is for this car right here, you can extract them and... You can even create another category layer. So we'll be like, this is main car layer. And then this is um, aftermarket. And you can actually move these to the other layer. And these will be, um, hold on. So this is black headlights. Uh, chrome headlights and then you can just leave them there which is really nice and then you go in now we need to do the other pieces so like the body shadow obviously this is something that needs to go on the very bottom of main car so you want to like line it up maybe look for some reference material from 1320 legends to see how it was originally lined up shadow and then lock that in place lock lock and undercarriage these are very important as well so this is 
you want this on top of shadow but under windows and lights so uh under carriage and you put these in here kind of like that whatever you know best fits I like to have them literally like to the edge of where they could be. So right now that's probably as good as it's going to get. And now you're probably thinking, all right, where do I get wheels and tires? Um, well, you have to extract them from legends basically. So you're going to want to go in and I don't believe I'm going to double check. Okay. I didn't think there was anything in here. So you're going to want to go back to the car folder and you're going to want to go to wheel and you're going to see tire BF, tire F, uh, tire FF, BR, BF. So this is back view right, uh, back view front. So I'll show you each one here. here. So... That's back front. That's really large, actually. That is rear for on a track. So back view racing, I guess. And then this is front view. So you're going to want to find the tires that best fit uh, what you're going for in your image. So actually, what is just tire back? Oh, it's just a plain black tire. It's just like a shadow thing for it. That's cool. Anyway, so we're going to do... We'll do uh, back front five and... Or actually, no, we're doing the front of the car. So we're going to do FF and FR are what we're going to want. And then you go and you grab the images you need. So as you can see, that's the front view and then... Uh, or front view, front rear. So we need to extract these to the same place, basically. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. Okay, it's L. I don't know why it's L and why it didn't say, but whatever. MR2 front so fr there we go this one ff and now we want to also import those oh come on and there we go so this will go here. This goes here. They do look like different tires. I am noticing that now. But you want to put them like here and then name them. So this is rear tire. Come on. Front tire. And then you want to get up real close and try to get things looking right. So the weird thing I haven't figured out yet when it comes to like photoshopping the cars from Legends is how to get this to sit on top of this without just like straight erasing body panels to make it look right. So I don't know, 1320 Legends. Let me show you an actual car from Legends from in the game. Um, here, this is perfect. View image. So as you can see, like the tire actually fits inside there, and I don't think it's scaled down, but it actually like overlaps when it doesn't here. And there's some funny code in play, or maybe just some Adobe Photoshop trickery I don't know of being done. Um, I don't know. But it's really not that hard to get this stuff lined up once you are pretty used to doing it. So as you can see, we have that all lined up and we have the front tire lined up. Now we need actual rims to make it look right. So luckily, I have a ton of extra rims. And I mean that. I have a ton. So what are we going to pick? 
Let's do the the flat black ones. These are really nice wheels. So we're going to go and import these. And as you can see, yes, it's the wrong angle. Simply just flip it. So... Um, there we go. And what you're going to want to do is obviously get them to fit. So you need to flip this one horizontal as well. And you basically want to just like kind of guesstimate the size and then actually get it in there and make it fit right and skew it into place basically. So you got to kind of play with it. This is where the creativity of how things are actually going to sit in there kind of comes to play. So like this has to be way skinnier or you have a problem. So that looks pretty good. And for a rough estimate, that doesn't look terrible, but it's not quite right. I think 94. Needs to be a little taller, so we'll do 120. There we go. And not, you know, for a rush job, that's not bad for a YouTube tutorial. But honestly, you it, it's possible to do way better than this. I'm not even going to lie. But if you want to save it and use it in pretty much anything, make stickers out of it. You know, if you want to change up these lights to, you know, let's say have... That already looks kind of cool. So, I mean, that's how easy it is to modify this stuff. And then you just... There you go. Modified headlights. You know, it's kind of that easy. Um, or you can, like, adjust the colors. Auto level it. Um, you can do a color fill. That's an overlay. There's a helicopter flying over my house. And you can easily lower it so it doesn't look terrible. Obviously that looks terrible. I'm not saying do it, but yeah, there's a lot of cool things you can do. And then you just save it and you go on your way to do with it what you want. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any more questions about ripping these cars and stuff like that and using them elsewhere, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I just swung at a bee that was next to me in my house. That was smart. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.